Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to do a winged eyeliner and this video was requested from my friend Catherine. Hey Catherine! And she also has a YouTube channel too, so I'll link that down below. And yeah, so for this video I'll be using the Revlon Color Stay Skinny in the darkest color because I use black and because I just think, you know, it just goes in my hair and eyes and everything. So yeah, um, and you could also use like a bunch of other eyeliners too. Just explore the world of eyeliners. But if you're starting off with with wigging out your eyeliner, I would really recommend you use a gel liner and a really thin angled brush like like this one. And Maybelline has a really great gel liner. It's called Studio eye gel liner. I'll put it in sort of picture or something. And back in like middle school when I first started wigging out my eyeliner, I always used that one and it really helped me like figure out my eye shape and know what kind of angle and thickness looks good on me. And not everyone has the same eye shape so just figure out what is best for you. And yeah, I'm just going to be doing my usual eyeliner routine so yeah, and this is going to be like a walkthrough kind of video and I'm going to be showing you how to do your eyeliner, like me talking, and this is going to be like an up close and personal kind of video. So yeah, let's just get into it and ooh. Okay, so as you can see, I have done my brows and my face makeups and everything. Okay, so you're going to want to take a primer. This is the Urban Decay primer and it's very important to prime your lids because it just makes the longevity of your liner last and it just makes everything look nice and pigmented and I'm not going to be putting any eyeshadow for the sake of this video I don't want to be, I don't want it to be too long so I'm just gonna put some primer on and don't forget this eye now you're going to take the liner and this is a felt tip liner and there's like product inside here and you just dip it in here and yeah that's where you get the liquid I'm gonna take this mirror. Look at this cute mirror. This is from Forever 21. Okay, now I like to tilt my head back. Like, tilt it back and have the mirror like this. And like, tilt it back. So you can see what you're doing. So you're at an angle. And make just a thin line really close to your lash line. And as you can see, I've created a really thin line super close to my lash line. And you can make it as thick or thin as you want. I just like mine really thin. Or sometimes I like to make it gradually thicker. Like from your tear duct, you just thicken out it gradually. So I don't know. I do that sometimes if you like it. Okay, and now this is the important part. You have to make the angle. And this is the trickiest part for me sometimes. And you just want to kind of get it a little bit past your eye, your um, end of your brow and I like it to be at a pretty obtuse angle like you know like that <laughs> this is like a math class I swear okay okay it might look really bad now but you'll connect it from here you make, you'll make the top line here and it'll, you'll just it'll just you know fix itself so um, whenever I draw the top line I like to just end it a little bit below the end because it just creates a more pointed look for me so yeah okay and you want to start making the line from your outer third of your eye so like right here <laughs> of your liner, you're just going to want to fill everything in. And honestly, I don't get why people like stretch out their eye like that. That creates really bad wrinkles, so I, I try not to do that. And yeah, tilting your head really helps. So yeah guys, tilt your head. And honestly, wig liner just takes a crap load of practice. And but just keep trying at it, you know, <laughs> or just keep winging it. 
look at it. Oh crap, don't look up because that's just... <laughs> you see that? Oh, that's why you don't... Okay, cotton swab. Yeah, don't try to not look up when you're doing this because that's how you get um, transfer from... Uh, that's how it transfers from your lid. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> And yeah, just fill everything in and keep the lines all nice and smooth. And yeah, okay, that's it. That's really it. <laughs> okay, and now you are going to want to curl them lashes because that's pretty important. And honestly, like eye makeup is never complete without without mascara, or that's just me. And I like to just curl like from the base of the base of the lash line, middle up, and just keep doing that because that is what's gonna help keep a curl. I'm gonna be taking my baby, the Lash Sensational from Maybelline, and apply copious coats. And you know, I love my lashes to be popping, so I put a ton of coats on it to make them look decently thick and to actually look like I have lashes. And don't forget your bottoms. And since I'm running out of this mascara, I'm gonna be going in with the second mascara. And this is Their Real from Benefit. This is the little sample thing I got. And yeah, we're just gonna go over the mascara again. As you know, you can never have too much mascara. I really like the brush on the brush on this is really thin. I don't know, it just really makes them look long and yeah, you see that? Whoa. Okay. Okay. And yeah, this is the finished eyeball. <laughs> your fleek eyeliner eyeline on fleek the freak <laughs> we have to keep it G. and that is it thank you guys for watching this video i really hope that you found it helpful and if you're new to this channel hi my name is Zelda. i try to make videos on a weekly basis but yeah please subscribe to me if you're new like, comment, and tell me what videos that you want, if it's makeup or fashion or anything. Thank you for watching again. I hope you have a lovely day and see you on the next video.